All right, and we are back. Hey there, my friend. Welcome back to another edition of our Thursday night training. This is more tactical. Uh, tact hold on, I'm getting some messages here. Uh, tactical internet marketing training that we bring for you every single week, but it's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your own version of this page. You get a version of this page as an affiliate of Power Elite System so that you can invite people to free internet marketing training, affiliate marketing training. We train them. They like the process. They pick up some tools and become a member of Power Elite System and you get paid for inviting people to free training. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool concept. So tonight I have something a lot different than the way we usually cover this. I actually have two PowerPoints up because I'm going to show you today's tactical strategy that we're going to be training on is how to develop your own presentations like this, how to create your own either so that you can show people something about your offer, your product, your marketing system, your marketing funnel, or you can actually do what I do and you can teach concepts, strategies, visions, plans, uh, and you can teach it. And once you, once you, you get your lesson plan all lined up, What's very, very cool about this strategy is that you immortalize it. You absolutely immortalize it. Um, how do I turn off these messages? Yeah, there we go. So you absolutely immortalize your lesson plan and it becomes a piece of content that is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week out in the internet. And depending on how you upload it, to which platform, what title you use, what description you use, and what keywords you use to name the video that you upload that has your presentation on it. Uh, de depending on that, those details, what keywords you use in there, you can be found then, you can be indexed and found by people on search engines, on social networks like Facebook that have search features, on social networks like YouTube that have search features. You can even take snapshots. You can take screenshots of your presentation, of your video, of your video clips or whatever, and you can upload them to like Instagram. And Instagram is like its own search engine as well. And that runs off of hashtags and keywords, the title of your pictures, the hashtags that you use whenever you post. And that goes the same for any other platform out there. Anytime you're creating some content and anytime that a platform or a search, uh, a search engine or a website creation tool, anytime you create a piece of content that's going to go on a page somewhere, you're going to upload it somewhere. And anytime you see it, ask you for a title, for a description, and for keywords, it is very, very important. This is critical. It is very important for you to think in terms of what keyword or keyword phrase will people more than likely be searching online where I want this content to be found? What is the main gist of your content? And name it that. Actually name the video file that. The PowerPoint presentation file, name it that. Know your main keyword or keyword phrase and use it as the anchor of every single thing that you name as far as a file, a PowerPoint presentation, a video file, um, a meme, a picture post, whatever. Name it that. And then when you upload it to those platforms, make sure that, again, you use those keywords and keyword phrases. Again, this is going to help you get found because now you have a way to show people something, take them on a tour of something in this format with these presentations that you can do quickly and easily using PowerPoint. Guys, I'm not a professional designer, graphic designer. I don't know how to code. I don't program anything, but I use software that is already made like cut and paste, copy and paste, you know, just click here, type there and uh, drag and drop, you know, easy. And one of those is PowerPoint. The long forgotten, simple little software that I use that makes me a lot of money on the internet is PowerPoint. Because when I get a concept, no matter if I can squeeze it in three slides, five slides, or 53 slides, it doesn't matter. When I get a concept, an idea that I would like to express, explain, teach, and preach, and share, or visualize with other people, 
I put that idea, I put that concept, that process on a PowerPoint presentation. Because on a PowerPoint presentation, I can use the power of words and I can take screenshots of what I'm trying to explain to people, what I'm trying to show them if I'm walking them through a marketing system and teaching them or showing them how it works and what's the next step and how to make money with it. Then I take screenshots, I put the screenshot on the slide, as you know from my training, and I explain it in bullet points and in very tight headline, subheadline fashion, in little outline fashion with bullet points and little headlines that explain the main idea. Then I move on to the next slide, to the next step in that process. If you can do that, you can teach people things and you can show people things. And when you teach people and you show people the benefit or the advantages of a certain idea, concept, system, program, product, then they are more apt to agree with that logic and the reasoning or the emotional appeal, the benefits, the advantages, whatever you're using in your explanation. And that will be a part of your own personality, your own style will lead you to how you explain these things. But I explain it in step-by-step -step format with outline. That's the way I think. It's the way I envision things. It's I like to try to the best of my ability to simplify things to the, to the least uh, common denominator, to the path of least resistance so that people can understand what it is that I'm doing, but why I'm doing it, how I'm doing it, when I do it, you know, in which different forms do I do it, from what content or context or perspective I do things on. And when I convey ideas that way, I generate more sales because then that little teaching or that little show and tell session, which most of my videos are, I'm just showing people what I do, that becomes a piece of content that lives forever on the internet. And then I can put it on YouTube, I can put that video on my blog, I can put that video on Facebook, I can put it everywhere. And the information is there and it's right off of a PowerPoint presentation, right? So let me get into tonight's training and then I'm going to show you the way I dissected through the overview webinar to give you two different looks at two completely different types of showings or teaching. One is more of a teaching, one is more of a showing but I'm using PowerPoint on both of them. I use the inherent, the included templates of PowerPoint. I don't go out there and wait forever and pay all kinds of money for a custom template or anything like that. I keep it very simple. I look at the software. I see what kind of templates are already there that make it easy for people to read and easy to digest information. And I simply use those. I use the software. If I want to embed a picture, using PowerPoint. It's very simple. When I'm creating, I just click on insert right up here. I click on insert. I click on pictures and then it asks me, do you want to grab a picture from a file in your computer? Yes. And in my documents folder, I have files of pictures and I name those folders, whatever is appropriate for the, the kind of picture that is in there. And so I recycle a lot of this stuff and and then I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let me get right into it. I'm going to go I'm not going to go to the slideshow presentation format this time because I'm teaching about PowerPoint. I want you to see the software in action. Does that make sense? So I'm going to leave it in this kind of format so you can see the thumbnails of the slides on the side what's coming and then the content is here and I'll show you quickly how I do certain things to create these. So again, I open up a blank presentation I pick a template that's already part of PowerPoint. In this case, it was this nice blue one. It comes in a couple of different colors, I think three different sets. And I like this one because it gives it a nice clean look, blue background with a little bit of green in the, uh, in the accent color there. Pretty cool. But once you get it down, you can see I changed this to yellow. I like using a blue background with white lettering and yellow or gold lettering. It makes it very easy to see. People don't have to work hard to see. Remember, many people will be trying to look at these on their phone, on a small screen, on a small device. So I like to make things as easy to read and easy on the eyes as possible. Okay. So for right now though, let's, let's get into the slides for a moment. Hold on one second. So we're on this one. Let's go down to the next one here. Yeah. So <coughs> This was a training that we did a few weeks back, about a month ago, on funnels, the mechanics and concepts 
of funnels. And you could see how I start the usual way by showing people how to get plugged in to our training, how to find the recordings and how to replicate this page. I do that at the beginning of every single training session. I show people how to find the recordings and I teach them how to create their own version of this page. So if they want to do the same thing that I do, invite people to free internet marketing, strategic tactical training, they can do so and they can do it on their page without reinventing the wheel, without doing the teaching or training. I do that. And if they invite people to free training on their own page and people click on a button and join, they get paid. Okay. So it's part of a marketing system as well. So then I go into the title of the training. In this case, it was on marketing funnels, mechanics and concepts. And so that's where I write the training a little longer on the description beneath the headline to give people a, a sense of, of the, of the details of this specific a teaching or show and tell session or coaching session, training session, whatever you want to call it. In this case, you, you can do that because it's already set up this way, but you can simply insert a text box, right? By, you could see up here on PowerPoint, the insert section is highlighted and way over here, you can see where there's an icon that says text box and you can choose to insert a text box on your slide size it by dragging these circles to whatever you need. And then what you do is you type something, anything in there, you highlight it, and then you can mess with the, the size of the lettering of the fonts. You can increase, decrease the size. You can bold them. You can try different font styles, but again, uh, rely on fonts that make the, the text easy to read and easy on the eyes for people. That's my highest recommendation. Don't try to use weird, pretty looking fonts that people are not going to be able to read because if somebody can't read a PowerPoint slide, they're done. They're not even going to try. They're going to just X out of that close, go back to Facebook and waste another six hours of their life looking at other people's videos and pictures. It's just, that's just the way it is. It is what it is. Love it or hate it. But that's what it is. Facebook, you know, people are using like a, a pseudo a dating app where it's all about their selfie, 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 you know, uh, just in case <laughs> they're building their brand or whatever, you know, look at me, look at me, look at me. Right. And so they're, they're not going to spend time on your presentation if it's hard for them to read because it's much easier and more addicting to go look at their own selfies or other people's selfies and start trying to, you know, do whatever they do on Facebook. So that, that's just, it is what it is. That's the reality of the situation. And you have to pay attention as a marketer to that. If you lose people's attention, you're done. Okay. So anyway, that's what I can tell you about that kind of slide. Now the next kind of slide is a quick little introduction to me so people can get a sense of who I am, where to find me. And then I get right back into the content and I start and notice the flow. It's always a simple, but very, very specific headline style telling them what this slide is about. And then if there's details that I need to discuss, I put it in outline format with bullet points like this, either numbered or, um, numbered or lettered or whatever, A, B, C, one, two, three. And I simply speak through the slide, like right here. The page is very simple. I show people in the beginning of all my coaching sessions how to find the recordings and how to replicate the page. And then on the next slide, I actually go through the process of doing that and I take screen captures, screenshots, pictures of the process of what they're going to see as they go through this evolution, as they go through this process of replicating the page. So I send them over to a link where it's promotethursdaytraining.com, where they can make their own version of this page for themselves. And I actually go to that page and take a couple of screenshots so they're seeing what they're gonna see. So when they actually do this exercise, it's not gonna be a surprise. They're not gonna be lost because in the presentation, I showed them what they were gonna see before they saw it. See how that works? If you just leave no stone unturned, your trainings will be better received. People will watch more of them and they will convert for you better because you're delivering better value, okay? So that's where I do that, very simple. I just click again to insert. I click on pictures this time and I, I drop in pictures. You can resize them on PowerPoint. Very simple process, play around with it. They've got a lot of tutorials in PowerPoint and Microsoft on how to use it. It's very simple to use. You can also go to YouTube 
and uh, look for tutorials on how to create PowerPoint presentations and they walk you through certain elements but it's very intuitive it's pretty simple uh, after this then I show people where to find the recorded version of the trainings 24 7 that we do so if you have your own platform your own YouTube channel your own Facebook group or fan page or whatever or blog where you're creating educational content for people you can do the same thing in your presentations. Part of a call to action is showing them where to go to get access to all of your other recorded trainings. And that's exactly what I do for us in Power Lead System. I lead them to the official Power Lead System Training Center, which leads people, when they click on replays, to all the recorded trainings on the YouTube channel that we use for the training videos. Okay, and, and same thing. You can see I'm taking screenshots there, putting them all there. I show them where the training schedule is at, you know, and then after I do that, so the very first thing I do is I tell them what we're going to be teaching on, right? I tell them what we're going to be covering, and then I show them where to get, uh, where to create their own replicated version of this page, where to find the recordings, and then I teach them how to plug into training. And once I do that, then I'm ready to get started with the actual lesson plan for this video, okay? And that's what I'm doing here. I just get right into it with another headline and a little description of what we are about to do and then we start flowing through it. So I flow through some concepts in outline format. I like to number things. You know when re people read books, for example like the Bible, right, or an encyclopedia sometimes, more likely like the Bible. The Bible is numbered. Every chapter, every verse right? Chapter and verse. Chapter one, verse three, chapter two, because that way it, it's kind of like, it's weird. The human mind works pretty weird. When you number things and it's on a list, something about the human psyche, the human mind wants to know where they're at and how big the list is and what's next, right? So when you number something one through 10 and people are on number two, right? They're going to want to read through this and get to number three. And hey, I wonder what's, what number four is. And so you don't want to put any heavy, dense, like Shakespearean or Robert Ludlum novel, you know, Stephen King novel text on your slides because more than likely, unless you're reading it for them, they're not going to sit there and read through the whole dense writing of your slides. They're just not going to do that. You can speak through it and discuss in more detail and kind of go into color commentary on what you meant about a certain slide. But as far as the content on it, make it quick. And I also recommend that you get through your slides in about 30 seconds to no longer than a minute per slide. And that's if you're using a little bit of slides. The, the more slides you are showing in a presentation, the faster you wanna get through them because people only have so much time. Your content could be so compelling, they'll be with you for an hour, hour and a half, two hours on a training if it's pretty uh, formal training. But more than likely, they're only gonna be there a matter of minutes. Okay, so you want to get through your slides fairly quickly and get through the information. And so the, here you see some examples of how I do that. Number three, number four, yeah, and then we get into step one. There we go again, right? With step one, understanding the protocol. Notice I use a lot of title and then outline. Title and outline. And you can speak through the slides. You don't have to write every single thing out on the slide. The slide is not a novel. It's just a visual aid. It's like you're taking notes for them and for yourself so you can see what's on the slide. And now I can talk about what do I mean by content marketing? What do I mean by a daily shout out, a daily blog, a daily transmission, social media, daily email, right? And you break down your thoughts. So I mentioned then I do social media on this slide. Well, what does that mean to me? Right? Let me break that down. What I mean by doing social media is this. So then I write social media and break that down. Right? On Facebook, I do P&E, post and engagement. On Twitter, on Instagram, and you can then if you wanted to, you can break into every single one of these and break those down, okay? So anyway, that's how I do my thoughts on these presentations. I really do keep it simple, guys. That's really what I do for our training. I do that for my own personal marketing videos. I do that for everything. I show them pictures of stuff to and, and then talk about it, right? And so that's how I create my lesson plans, that is the style. You can create sales messages this way. I have video sales letters that are written in this format for some of my own affiliate products, right? And I create uh, marketing style promotional sales videos like this 
for the programs that I promote. I know that we have a video sales letter already for Power Lead System, but isn't it cool to create your own and put your own spin on it and make it maybe make it a lot shorter or longer? Talk a little bit more about the concepts in the program or your product or whatever, and then still have a link that sends them to your affiliate link so they can go see the official version, right? You, you want to differentiate yourself in the marketplace and show people that you actually care about what you're doing enough that you're taking your own time to lay things out and explain them. Once you're done with a PowerPoint presentation like this, right? That's the last slide in this specific uh, training evolution here. I lead everybody back to the back office of the program of Power Lead System. And I point them specifically to a piece of content, a marketing blueprint that everybody can use to replicate and duplicate. You want to leave your duplication as simple as possible? Teach, invite people to our training, teach people to invite people to our training, and then lead them to this piece of content, the blueprint, the marketing game plan and blueprint that's in the back office already for you if you're an affiliate in Power Lead System. It's called Roadmap to Riches. And it's a phenomenal piece of content because it gives everybody that you send here, it gives them a complete marketing blueprint and game plan. All they need to do is follow it. That's all they need to do. So anyway, you want to do something like that in all your training and then this is done. Now that the PowerPoint is finished, I save it, I name it, and then what I like to do is I open up a screen sharing recording software like Camtasia by TechSmith. If you have any questions about the resources and the software uh, that I'm talking about, ask in the official Power Lead System Facebook group. Just ask about it in there and I'll have the resources in there. But it's, it's made by, you can Google this or YouTube this and search for it. It's called Camtasia, like camera, C-A-M, Tasia. Camtasia by TechSmith. There is other software that you can use to record and share your screen. But what I use is Camtasia. I'm serious about my business. And once I use Camtasia to record like I'm doing right now, I'm using Camtasia right now to record this video. Once it's done, then I render it in a format where I can directly upload it to YouTube and to Facebook and anywhere else that's a social media platform. Okay, I name the video with my keywords. For example, the keyword for this one is going to be something, to, I'll have a couple of different versions, but it'll be something to the effect of Power Lead System Training, Affiliate Marketing Training, How to Create Your Own Selling or Training Presentations with PowerPoint. Make Money with PowerPoint. Something like that, right? I'm going to name it something like that. I named the actual video file something like that because I want the main keyword or keyword phrases in the title, in the description, in the keyword or tags, and I want to put that everywhere, anywhere that the internet asks me for a title, a description, a keyword to my content. Wherever I'm uploading this, that's what I'm going to use. And that makes it easier. That's how people find me from videos that I made years ago. And they'll find me, and that's why I love to focus on universal concepts, mindset, skill set, but basic, fundamental skill sets of marketing, home-based business marketing or affiliate marketing, right? Because those concepts never go out of style. It's like a pair of nice jeans and a black t-shirt. You can always rely on it, right? I always do. Look, the black t-shirt on right now, right? So that's the kind of training I like to do. I don't like, to, even though I do it, if some specific program comes out, I will do a review on it. I will show it. I will teach it. I'll do that. But programs sometimes have a shelf life where if the program is out of favor, those keywords are out of favor. Nobody's looking for it anymore. But how many people are ever going to think that going out of favor will be something to the effect of, you know, how to generate 10 to 25 leads, targeted leads per day for your home business, how to make money online, how to simplify affiliate marketing, how to generate your first lead on the internet, right? Those kinds of keyword phrases or titles and descriptions, those kinds of topics will never go out of style. And so that's what I like to teach on. That's the content I like to create all of the time. I just recycle through them, okay? And because I know that's going to have me found easier. So after I save that, 
as a PowerPoint presentation and I record over it with a screen share like Camtasia software, I save that video, I upload it to YouTube, I upload it to Facebook, Facebook groups, Facebook fan page, wherever. I link to it in comments. I mean, that is a marketing tool now. If you have a blog, I make a blog page about it. And I also make a blog post about it. A post and a blog page are different things. They're both powerful, but it gives you an opportunity to put the same piece of content with keywords and description and, and uh, tags and titles multiple times. So it gives you more chances to be found online. I don't care whether Google or YouTube point people to a, a page on my blog or a post on my blog. I don't care, or a YouTube video or a Facebook fan page post. I don't care what they use to help me get found. I just want to get found. <coughs> so I try to be in all the places where I can be, okay? So then once I do that, then I begin to promote that piece of content to my email list. I take a screenshot, I post an image of it on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. I text it to a text list, I email it to an email list. Okay, and you could always come back and do that again. If you have a blog, put it on your blog. Another kind of page that I have on my blog, if you go to my blog, you'll see I have resource pages. One is called tools, where I list all the tools that I personally use in my business. And then one is called traffic. Because I know people are always looking for different resources where they can get leads and traffic. And they're always interested to see what tools people are using. So I have those two pages set on my blog. And I'll make, you know, if this was a, a training, I'll have a training page. And then I'll go in there and I'll put a new section on that page with a screenshot of this training and the headline to it and a little button where they can click and then it sends them to wherever that training is at. So these are multiple little different ways that I promote my content on my blog, on my YouTube, on my Facebook, on my social media accounts. Once I have the PowerPoint converted into turned into a video and once I have that done. In fact, even on Facebook, like Facebook groups, you can actually upload a PowerPoint file, the actual set of slides. And I do this in a lot of my team groups and in Power Lead System group also, if you click on files, you'll see a lot of my PowerPoint presentation, the slides themselves, the PowerPoint files, they're there. Why? So that other affiliates like you can grab them. You don't have to reinvent the wheel, it's already there. And now you just speak it in your own style into existence and make your own videos. Very rarely do people actually do that, even though they know that they can take that PowerPoint file, they can load it up in their own PowerPoint software on their own laptop, and they can change and edit whatever branding they want. They can change my picture and put their picture on it. They can take my name out, put their name on it. You know, the funny thing about entrepreneurship, uh, making money on the internet, or in any endeavor that's worth anything that can create a good lifestyle for people, in any endeavor, very rarely, only a few people actually follow through and execute consistently enough to become successful. Most people love going to school. Why? Because society indoctrinated, programmed, brainwashed you into being a student all your life. You've, we've been in school listening to authority all of our life. Our conscious mind, our subconscious mind become accustomed to that routine. So they come online to build a business as entrepreneurs, but they never become entrepreneurs. They, they never leave being a student. That's great for you if you learn how to be a marketer because you're never going to have an empty classroom. People are conditioned to be students and they'll buy textbooks, they'll buy courses, they'll buy programs, they'll buy systems. They love to be students. I'm giving you this as an insider tip, not to bash anything, not to be negative about it at all. It's wonderful. It's, it's allowed me the opportunity to make a lot of money for my family all my life, teaching good stuff to people that wanted to learn. However, let me give you this piece of reality, of real life. Very few people will actually execute that as a marketer. They don't become the marketer. They don't become the teacher, even though they call themselves this on Facebook, but they really don't. They always uh, maintain or remain forever the professional or maybe sometimes not so professional students. They lose their cool, 
they get frustrated, they do never negative comments in a group where their own prospects are supposedly going to check out their program, they wonder why they're not getting sales. All these little things, all these little amateur kind of mistakes, but because they've been conditioned all their life to be a student, and a lot of students are also conditioned, This I'm not talking to you personally, I'm in general, but a lot of students are conditioned to, hey, if you have a question, don't be afraid to ask a question. That's true. But when that becomes your program, when that becomes your lifestyle and you're never about taking action, you're never about executing on the solution you just asked about, you know, you go from question, they give you a solution. Okay, next question, solution, next question, solution, next question. You're brainwashed into being the kind of person that is just going to ask questions all your life, but you're never going to execute on the answers. As a marketer, let me just leave you with this. If you truly came here to learn from me and from this program how to make money, how to become profitable and generate results, you're going to have to deal with the society's conditioning, brainwashing, programming, the indoctrination that you went through all your life that has conditioned you into being a lifelong student. Nothing wrong with that, but there is something wrong with it if you're a lifelong student trying to be a teacher, trying to be a marketer, trying to be an entrepreneur that never allows yourself to be and do what entrepreneurs do, but you're always stuck in the classroom learning, 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 which is great, you're here. But what I wanna do is I wanna be the bridge that finally takes you physically, mentally, emotionally from sitting as a student learning all the time to actually taking action as a warrior in the field of battle. I wanna take you to what it is, the essence of being the entrepreneur, the marketer, the promoter, the networker, the salesperson, if I'm allowed to say that online. Well, I'm not a salesperson, I don't sell, I share. No, that's a freaking lie. We sell, we sell smartly, but we sell. We market, we use psychology, we use direct response, we sell. Because if we're not selling, we're not here in 90 days. We quit and then we blame it on the, you know, oh, it didn't work for me, bad sponsor, bad program, bad comp plan. No, you just didn't learn how to sell well, right? So anyway, I like to be real with you because being real with you helps you become productive. And if you're not productive, then your upline, your downline, yeah, nobody else is gonna be productive. We want to show you how to be a prolific marketer and that means showing you how to sell right? And that means getting you out of the classroom and into the field of battle where selling takes place. And that is very, very important. So having the ability to create your own pieces of content like this, let me show you an example of one that we go over every Wednesday, right? This one. Okay. So I started with a big idea. The theme of this was going to be, I want to show people how, as an affiliate of Power Lead System, we've already created a system designed to generate for them $500 days on the internet, $1,000 days on the internet, with one customer, with two customers. How, what does it look like, and how do I market it? What do I need to do next, right? So that was the purpose of this presentation that we do every Wednesday. And with that as the purpose, I created this, the title of it, and then I began to break it down. And then I broke that down. Well, if we're going to do this with Power Lead System, well, what is Power Lead System, right? And then, like always, before we get into the meat of this presentation, I want to show people where the recordings are. So there we go. I'm just in with a title. Hey, I'm going to show you where the recordings are. Bullet point, bullet point that I talk about. That's where they are, right? And then I show them. This is where to log in, okay? This is what you're going to see. Hover over training. Click on that. And that's how to get to all of the replays of the recorded training. Subscribe to that channel. And now I break down, here's what most people want to learn, the main things they want to learn about Power Lead System when they first discover it. What about the product? What's the support? What's training like? You know, all that stuff. So I broke that down. And then we get into what it is, right? What is Power Lead System and how do you make money here? Well, we make money here with a concept called affiliate marketing with leverage, but it's affiliate marketing. Well, let me explain to people what that is because some people don't know what affiliate marketing is. What does affiliate marketing even mean to us in our context, in our, from our perspective? 
And so I write that down. We talk about that. Now they know, oh, okay, so that's the model. Keep it simple. Get your link, get traffic to your link, and plug into training. All right, so if that's how I do that, how do I do that? And I begin to break it down. Fast start your business, right? And so every idea, every next step, I find a picture that helps people visualize it, and then I create some bullet points in outline format of what that process is so I can speak about it briefly on the slides. I take them through the fast start process with Lead Lightning, with Power Lead System, with Free Lead System, and now they got a link. I taught them no matter what funnel they came in through how to get a link. Now they just need to get traffic. I show them exactly how to get traffic right there. And now we can get into training, right? Because now they, they learned how to get started, how to get their link, how to get traffic to the link. Now let me show you how to get paid more, how to really dive deeper into this plan. And so we just begin to break that down. I start again at the beginning. All right, so a $500 a day. What does that actually look like? And how did I do that? How did I do that? How did I do this? Right? And we go into the two different ways online that we create sales. I go into the magical invitations that I use to get people in front of this free information and invite them to free training. And I just begin to break it down. On Facebook, what do you have to do to make money on Facebook? Well, you have to learn how to build your audience. Then you have to learn how to monetize that audience. Well, how do you do that? Well, here's how we do it. Here's the training that we do it in. Right? And so I walk through examples of how, what kind of posts do we use? What kind of copywriting do we use, right? And I just go down and show them the kinds of messages that are available that we share on social media and how to build an audience and how to move them over to your links. And then, so that's social media. So then how about the people that do not like social media? Well, then we break that down in this presentation and I show them, well, you don't have to use social media. You can have an automated marketing system present for you 24-7 and follow up with your prospects and close sales. All you have to do is learn how to feed it the right kind of traffic and then duplicate that with your team. Here's how you do that. Right? Here's how you do that. And I just show them. A step one, you get your link and go buy quality traffic. Then they, they come to your lead capture page. You collect leads, email leads, they go to the presentation, your follow-up system begins to follow up with them. Then they buy the first thing of the product, they start their seven-day trial, or they start coming to these trainings, right? You plug them into the overview webinar, this one, and you invite them over to the tactical training, start giving our training away for free, because if they appreciate that, more than likely, they're gonna wanna use the tools and use the system that is being used on them, right? And so it's just logical. And this is the next thing. You want to have success with this kind of marketing. This is what you need to do. You need to get in, get all in, get some traffic to your link, and then get to our training. So you understand what just happened. And then we talk about support and training. We break that down. Okay, we're going to show you the support, the training, the sample site and design, the demo pages, and the comp plan. And then you can start your free seven-day trial, right? So that's what we're about to do. And so then once I show them what's going to happen, I take them through number one, there's a support system, there's the training center, there's the demos and the sample templates that we give you access to, talk about the compensation plan, refer you over to the comp plan video, right? And then invite you to get started in the seven day trial first. We talk a little bit about the highlights of the comp plan in this presentation. I'm breaking everything down with a simple picture and just a few words, just a few words. The pictures do most of the explaining because they've got the copy in them. I took screenshots from marketing funnels, all I did, and I put them on the PowerPoint slides. Break down the comp plan, break down the cost of the program. It's just two bucks a day, two bucks a day for a system that allows you to make 500 bucks a day or a thousand bucks a day on the internet. And the overhead for that is two bucks a day, right? For your website fee and your, your affiliate fee. And there it is. I just invite them to start their free seven day trial and we're done. That's the last slide. So you can use this, go forward, backward and forward, rewind and fast forward through this, right? And use it to get your own ideas on what kind of content, what piece of content, what can you show somebody today that will better educate them about the benefits and the advantages of your product, your program, your compensation plan, Whatever you want. You can do content like this on whatever you want. 
take one tiny little piece of content at a time, break it down for people and show it to them. Pretty awesome, right? I wanted to show you that this is what I do multiple times a week, multiple times a week for Power Lead System, for my personal branding, for my personal business. I do simple. Once you have a simple template of a presentation like this, I can open this one up or better yet, the universal training I did on the other one. I can open this one up, you know, and I can go to the main title page and simply change the title and begin walking through these slides and just change the content. Add different pictures. If I want to talk about email marketing, if I want to talk about my follow-up process with leads, with prospects, what do I ask them? What do I invite them to go look at, right? How do I interview them? I can just simply replace the content of a prior presentation with this one, save it as the new presentation, I'm done. I am done, I'm ready to go. Now I do the Camtasia, I do the screen share video, and then I upload to YouTube, and then I upload to Facebook, and then I promote. I promote to everywhere I have a following, my email list, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. I just promote, okay? I do a live stream video on Facebook and talk about the new training video I did. Go find it on my blog, or go find it in the group, or go find it on my YouTube channel, okay? That's what I do, guys. And this is a very, very universal, long-term, evergreen, this will never go out of style. You can always create content. You can use a simple piece of software like PowerPoint and like Camtasia to record it as a video. And then you have the platforms to put it on. YouTube, Facebook, your blog, your own website. Okay? So I wanted to show you that today. If you have any questions about this, feel free to uh, post in the, uh, in the official Power Lead System group or wherever we are masterminding in. And I'll be happy to help you with suggestions, ideas, concepts, or anything that I may have missed explaining or breaking down from this training session. It's been my pleasure. Welcome to the Power Lead System family. I'll see you on the next training video. My name is Franco. See you on the next one. Bye for now.